Okay, this is the Regal's uh, Quick Finder. It comes with two plates for the base. I made a hole in one of them. And this side. And on this side. So in this way I can pass the elastic band and fit it on the telescope. So let's go and do this. Okay, this is the quick finder and this is the elastic band. I'm going to put it in this mid ETX uh, um, 90, the old version. This was a new uh, version, just a tube. And I put it on the mount of the old version because I like this old version when you can actually adjust. And it has a clock drive, so I can just use it without depending on the, you know, anything uh, for handset and other fidgety things. And as you can see, I've now fitted the quick finder on this. The only thing I will do here, I will just add some felt to here so it will not scratch. And I have taken it very long, this elastic band, so I can use it on my big Dobsonian, 12 inch Dobsonian also. And let's just turn this on and see how it works. Of course, I have to mention that the real viewfinder is, you should put it this side, the knobs are on the other side. So you look through here. And that is the viewfinder, as you can see. The first circle is the uh, half a degree, the size of the moon, and the bigger one is two degrees, four times the size of the moon. And if I now turn the flash on, that's the view. Of course it works in the dark much better. It was blinking, that's the way you do it. If you turn it completely toward the clockwise direction, it will blink. If you turn it anti-clockwise, it, uh, it just stops to blink and it will be a stay steady. Uh, I recommend probably it's better to blink it, of course if you're not bothered by that. Because that will save a lot of battery. Well, and when you find the target, you just turn it off. You can adjust this uh, by uh, working with these knobs to bring it to the center. You have to bring your eye close to it. It's not like the, you t stay half a meter away, no. You have to come very close to it, you can see. And for changing the battery, you just uh, remove the quick finder from the plate. And under it is a battery, 2032, I think, is a, one of these button um, uh, batteries. Uh, to make these uh, holes for the elastic band to pass, I used uh, drills. I drilled uh, with a small drill several very close holes together. Then I used a bigger drill uh, to make this uh, a little bit slightly, probably around 2 millimeter drill, to make uh, join these holes together. Whatever I could not join, I just cut it with a, a cutter. And that way I was able to actually make a continuous line and uh, pass the elastic band through it. So as you can see, uh, I used drill bits, drill different holes, then join them all together by adding to the size of the drill bit, diameter of the drill bit, make it a little bit bigger holes. And those holes eventually join together. I had to sometimes turn the drill a little bit this way uh, direction, so cutting the wall between the holes. You can do a plier if you want, if you don't want to use uh, that way. I had a, as you saw, I had a vast in my uh, table, I could do this. And I did exactly this, this on this other side, I just draw a pencil line from this one, this side to this side, and from this side to this side, and I repeated the same process here. Uh, whatever left was left from inside, there is a ridge here that you... I, I cut it with a cutter, simple as that, a plier cutter.